Okay, uh, I watched a couple of videos and uh, downed that uh, drink that I had made from white spirit and tonic water. Now here I have another bottle. Uh, this is the uh, Uwai Tradition Japanese whiskey from the Shinshu Mars Distillery. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully that's legible enough for you and on the back it says 40 percent alcohol by volume 750 mils whiskey product of japan imported by north blue note white spirits in north vancouver and anything else on here okay oh the produced and bottled by the humbo shuzo company so it's a shinshu mars distillery now, let's see how this one opens up. Uh, oh, there's the little V-shaped thing that you can grab onto. And I did not clip my fingernails before doing this, so it's easy to remove. This probably has a plastic cork. Um, no, it's, it's a cork cork. I think. Or it's plastic made to look it's it's a cork cork but with a plastic covering over it. Isn't that odd? It's plastic covering the cork. Usually Japanese whiskey has a plastic cork anyway. Okay. So I don't know if this is a does it say malt or single malt or blend? It doesn't say whether it's a blend or a malt. It just says that it's a whiskey. <laughs> I might I might have a website. Maybe lo looking it up would give us an indication of what it's all about. Um, let's see if I can do this while making a video. Oh, uh, let's see. And what's it called? Um, Iwai Tradition. See if this still works here. Blend 75% malt, 25% corn. There we go. Mars UI tradition, Japanese whiskey. Yep, there you go. There's the answer. So 75% malt and 25% corn. Cool. That was interesting to find out. It's amazing when you have the internet in front of you, you can find anything just like that. I didn't even, it wasn't on the bottle, but there was the information. Okay, well, let's give it a nosing. Ah. I'm getting light fruits, pears, oh yeah, pears, cherries, white grapes, not fermented, just white grapes, those white seedless grapes that you just pop in your mouth and they're just juicy. Ah, let's see. Interesting nose. The first sniff didn't give me much, but now, like I said, I'm getting pears and those white grapes. I'm getting something spicy too. It's a very subtle spice. It's, I don't know. This is a little bit 
No, it's not spice. It's like ginger. Yeah, ginger. So some fruits and ginger. A little bit of caramel and vanilla too. Yes. Maybe a bit of cinnamon. But definitely pears, white grapes, some ginger, vanilla, a bit of caramel, and that's mostly what I'm getting without digging too deep. I could let it sit here for a while. I definitely am not going to add any water. It's 40% alcohol by volume. This 75% uh, malt, 25% corn whiskey is probably going to be really good without doing much to it. It's a light, it's a nice nose. Now as I go along, the fruits are getting less. They're moving aside a little bit and uh, the vanilla notes are getting stronger. The ginger's fading a bit too. So now there's more vanilla and some caramel, maybe a bit of toffee, toffee caramel. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't go as far as to say butterscotch, but it's quite pleasant, quite pleasant as a nose. Let's see what we get as a taste. Mm. I'm getting lots of vanilla. I'm getting some ginger notes. Ginger, vanilla. It coats the mouth. It's quite mouth watering. Let's give it a bit of a fresh water and go again. After tasting it, the nose is more, well, it's been changing from more fruity to more vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla, bit of ginger bit of caramel. It's quite nice. Like the two other Japanese whiskeys I have tasted, it is really, really smooth. It's alkaline. It's a slippery. It has no rough edges at all. No rough edges. It's very, very smooth. It's very easy drinking. This will go down very, very, very smoothly. It's a good juice. There's nothing offensive about it at all. There's nothing that really stands out it's a it's sort of like a well-balanced harmony a harmony of some fruit some ginger some little bit of caramel some vanilla nothing really stands out nothing really stands out and cries here i am this is just a very harmonious balanced 
blend. What did I pay for this? Humbo Shuzo, $94.99. And with all the um, taxes, the 10% the liquor tax and the 5% goods and services tax, $109.24. That is a bit steep. Even though the experience is very pleasant, it's an enjoyable dram. If it were a lot cheaper, I would drink it every day. But it is expensive, as Japanese whiskey is known to be. At least for my $109, I'm getting a 750 ml bottle rather than a 500 ml bottle, which is acceptable. And uh, It's, um, I can't say anything bad about it, except for the price. The price is too steep. Well, now that I know how to say it, kanpai. Food quick. 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 Food quick.